Howdy Ego Hackers, my name is Samwise, welcome to the channel. Today, we'll be discussing the first cognitive axis of introverted feeling and extroverted thinking. Let's begin. First, let's define what a cognitive axis is and how it functions within our cognitive framework. A cognitive axis is communication between two functions. Specifically, it is a kind of cause and effect in how our minds perceive and judge the world. Our minds are not stagnant, Using one function engages another function. No function can be used in isolation. Think of it like this. Breathing. It is the vital rhythm that keeps us alive. It serves as the metaphor for a cognitive axis. Breathing is one act, but there are two parts. You got the part where you're inhaling. You take in air. And then you exhale, where you release air. But we don't inhale without exhaling or exhale without inhaling, we breathe. And breathing is a cognitive axis. In our case, we inhale extroverted thinking. And we exhale introverted feeling. I guess when I was talking, that was exhaling, so. But the act of breathing is extroverted thinking slash introverted feeling. FITE are always connected as one always follows the other. Every FI user is a TE user. Every TE user is an FI user. The axis between FI and TE is communication between how I feel and what others think. Now, let's explore how the FITE axis operates, focusing on the interactions between our personal values and external rationalizations. Introverted feeling is morals and extrovert thinking is rationale. FI is also about mood and feelings, whereas extrovert thinking is also about status and regard. FITE users take in information, extrovert thinking, and then weigh it out. That information is used to determine its value, introverted feeling. TE heroes in particular run the risk of treating everyone like numbers, and I hope that one day I will be an ENTJ's favorite number. FITE users can go the other way too where they lead with what they value or feel, and then determine if information is good or not based on if it matches how they feel or what they value. Every time an FITE user reads, listens, or learns something new, they have to categorize it by how the information relates to their values and what they believe. Understanding the application of the FITE axis in our daily life and decisions is crucial. Let's identify how this axis manifests in different personality types. For FITE users, Using one's own morals, mood, or personal philosophy cannot be done without considering what other people will think. High FI users, like ENFPs, INFPs, ISFPs, and ESFPs, lead with their FI, with what they feel and value. This can make them incredibly biased, only seeking information that confirms their perspective. On the other hand, high TE users, like ENTJs, INTJs, ESTJs, and ISTJs, lead with their surveying capabilities and their TE where they can gather all the information in the world, but are less confident with knowing the value of that information. All TE users, but especially the high TE users, run the risk of being completely trivial and all the information they gathered is worthless. Recognizing the strengths and challenges of the FIT axis leads us to consider how we can optimize these functions for a more balanced approach. At their best, FITE users are able to gather a wide variety of information and synthesize useful information into digestible intellectual packages that hold insane value. While red TE users can always provide fresh input, honest FI users can always provide their principles and sympathy to others. Optimized FI TE is intellectually robust and open-minded, by dynamic and deep in their moral and sympathetic considerations. FI TE users, please read, especially to the TE inferiors. Thank you. Finally, let's delve into the underlying purpose of the FITE axis and its impact on our cognitive development and interactions. The FITE axis reveals the connection between understanding and goodness. Extroverted thinking is the ability to understand another person's perspective in terms of what they are thinking and how they are viewing the world. Introverted feeling is the ability to respond to information by searching for the worth and the value of something or someone that is often overlooked by others. The maturity of an FITE user is often revealed by this maxim. Do you seek to understand before they judge, or do you judge before you understand? 
As we wrap up our exploration of the FITE axis, let's reflect on the key insights and how they apply to our journey towards cognitive balance and understanding. As we conclude our exploration of the FITE cognitive axis, the cruciality of balancing one's personal values and emotions, FI, with an objective, rational understanding of the external world, TE, becomes apparent. Introverted feeling provides a deep sense of personal values and a sense of morality, while extroverted thinking brings a rational, systematic approach to processing and organizing external information. The interplay between these functions is essential. Introvert feeling's introspective moral compass is instrumental in guiding the logical and effective application of extroverted thinking. This energy enables FITE users to not only understand and synthesize diverse viewpoints and information, but also to align them with their core values and principles. The optimized use of the FITE axis leads to a robust intellectual and moral framework, allowing for decisions and communications that are both rationally sound and compassionate. Ultimately, this exploration highlights the importance of balancing heartfelt values with rational thought, ensuring that both personal integrity and the practical effectiveness are maintained in our interactions and decisions. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode. In the next episode, we'll be talking about the TIFE access. Later.